Hey there. I don't know who needs to hear this today, but uh... Wow. What's up, Isis? It what? That's me. What's up, idols? It's CC Lesson 3. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. So the other day while I was at the gym, I had a thought. Over the years, I've gotten a lot of DMs on Instagram. Please follow me there. And I got a lot of comments on my YouTube videos about one particular thing. Well, there's many things, but one thing regarding the topic of today's video. And that is why do so many of us simp over K-pop idols and K-drama actors? Now, don't get me wrong. Like, my niche is Korea. That's for a reason. You know, it is the first country, the first place I ever was where I lived on my own. In the States, I lived on campus, and then I came home every few months. But in Korea, I was away for two consecutive years, all on my own, developing independently. So Korea will always be a big part of my life. And I go back every year with the exception of last year and COVID. Not only that, but I have been listening to K-pop since 2010. I was 17 when I first got into it, thanks to 2PM. Oh, by the way, if I seem like I'm in a particularly chipper mood, it's because Bay lands tonight at 8 p.m. and I can't wait to see him. In fact, if you're on Patreon, you can probably see a reunited couple photo sometime this weekend because I haven't seen him since the end of May or like May 21st, 22nd. So yeah, a little over a month. Anyway, this video is my theory as to why so many of us girls in the West simp and flock over these K-pop idols and dreamy Korean drama actors. It's because K-pop idols are so fine. I'm so used to people online in particular because people online are just, it's a mental illness. But a lot of them will see these beautiful, soft looking men and not get it. Like they fully don't understand it. And the way I see it as women, it's become normalized to accept rude behavior from men or constant judgment from them. The other day I was, I was online because I'm, I'm, I too have this mental illness and I saw it was a reel that a guy was filming his girlfriend. They were going to the grocery store. She had on like a crop top and short shorts and he filmed her shaming her for wearing so little clothing and everybody in the comments was on his side. I'm like, what? It's, it's He was like, why is it that every time summer rolls around, you, you want to leave the house half naked? She's like, because it's hot outside. And one thing I'll never understand is whenever a man shows his body, it's fine. It's hot outside. He's worked on it. He's worked out a lot. There's whatever valid reasons they might have. But when it's a girl, she's doing it for attention. She is insecure. She doesn't respect herself. Yeah, those are usually the main ones. But why? Like, why is a woman's body in itself shameful? And the reason I bring this up is because whenever you see instances of women wearing little clothing around like K-pop idols, for example, you see something like this. No shame, just like here, let me let me help you be a little more modest for this performance because like everybody's about to be watching you. That is attractive. That is very sweet. And I think a big part of the allure and the appeal from K-pop idols and Korean drama actors and stuff is they seem like such sweet gentlemen. And of course, if you've watched my channel over the years, you know not all Korean guys are like that. But let us live in the fantasy for a little bit, you know? I mean, they're pretty boys with great hair. They're talented. Oftentimes they can dance really well. They're sweet and they're cheerful and they're well-dressed and that's like everything women want. So when we get to see that, it is so refreshing. And I have another thing I've been wanting to say. <laughs> I feel like it is so much easier to be an attractive man than it is to be an attractive woman. Because as a woman, our boobs can be too big. Our boobs can be too small. Our butt can be too small. We should get a BBL. We get shame for getting a BBL. We should gain weight. We need to lose weight. We're too skinny. We need to work out. <laughs> like we're not curvy enough. Like there's always something. We're not even allowed to age. Every time an older woman gets a compliment, it's you look good for your age. Whenever an older man gets a compliment, it's just you look good. You look handsome, sexy, silver fox. But when it's a woman, it's always you look good for your age. Pero we. There's this uh you or he's like a streamer. I I don't I don't like him, so I'm not gonna say his name. But he made a good point. He said that any guy like at base level is capable of being a seven, at least a seven, and I fully agree. The only things that work against men is like if you're bald, you know, but there are women who like bald men, but like if you have like, you know, your hair is, is, is leaving, it's LeBron and you might have issues attracting women. Or if you're short, because yes, we women do like tall men, but you do also have so much love and appreciation out there for short kings. I feel like as a man, 
if you you know take care of your hair keep it cut and trimmed and looking good if you take care of your skin if you dress well go to the gym that's like all you need to be an attractive guy like all these pretty tiktok boys look the same they've mastered the formula so yes i feel like in a world where we're constantly being criticized for our looks and degraded by men and judged by them all the time it's refreshing to enjoy something a little distant i guess whenever we hear from like these actors and idols they always say such sweet things about their fans they always say like sweet things about what they like about women you know i like someone who likes me i like someone who makes ramen well i like someone with a charming smile like things like that you know every girl has a charming smile except for you bitch you do not so it makes us feel seen and it's funny because there's people who have a more old school mindset where they want like a masculine overtly masculine alpha man who's hairy and doesn't give a fuck about how he looks but i think we're in this generation these days where girls like soft honest vulnerable guys like whenever we see these actors and idols cry on stage every girl loves that nobody's like pussy men's mental health is very important so when we see that like out at the moment that young june became my favorite member in text he was on shushwita drinking with sugar and i think bomgyu and he talked about they were like oh you cry a lot don't you he's like yeah yeah i cry a lot <laughs> 여기가 제일 좀 많은 편인 것 같아요. 너는 왜 이렇게 눈물이 많은 거야? 누가 제일 많이 웃어요? 우리 정국이. That was like you. And watching him get drunk was hilarious. I was like, you're so precious. Protect him at all costs. So when I go to the gym, I stay on the stair machine from like 30 minutes to an hour. So I'm, I'm alone with my thoughts a lot. And I was just sitting there thinking how around the gym, like you've seen all these videos online of girls who post their workouts and guys who post their workouts. When a girl posts her workout, they're like, oh, you can put some more clothes on. Oh, you're only doing that for attention. When a guy does, it's like max gains, bro. You looking good. Like women don't really seem to have the time or need to go under a man's video or post or pictures and shame him and be like, oh, someone's insecure. Someone has a small dick. But when a girl does it, it's like, oh, she's a, she doesn't respect herself. Our bodies in itself are sinned. And it, th that's why this, this whole thought came to me at the gym. Also that post that I saw, because there was also another one where, oh, a girl and her partner were having a gender reveal. It was triplets, all girls. And then someone in the comments was like, better raise them right or you'll have three future OnlyFans models. Why are you sexualizing fetuses? As opposed to when I think about like the K-pop world, for example, the guys just seem so sweet. I don't know, like it reminds me how in video games and in anime, for example, girls can wear next to nothing and there's almost no comment or discussion or acknowledgement about it whatsoever. One immediate thought that comes to mind, this is from Final Fantasy 16. Her name is Cindy and she is a mechanic wearing this. A mechanic, bruh. And not one person tells her, oh, you like a slut. Oh, you should cover up. Oh, have you no shame? Nobody cared. And I feel like that's how it is in the world of K-pop. Obviously not in Korea because like until recently girls couldn't even show their shoulders without it being scandalous. And it's all a part of the, the way that these idols and celebrities are packaged and taught and trained to appeal and behave in public. But they're just so gentlemanly and they don't seem to care about what the fuck you're wearing. So like that is just so attractive. If you aren't prepared to have people look at your girl, look at her body, check her out. Then don't date a hot girl doing hot girl shit. I just wanted to insert this. It's just a compilation of some gentlemanly behavior from our favorite idols. Stray Kids Felix goes viral for being a gentleman to La Serafa members. The girls immediately noticed that they didn't have enough chairs for them. They were about to share the seats, but thankfully, Felix did not hesitate and came over to give them the chair, as soon as he realized that there were only four seats at La Seraphim's table.
short. I think the reason we flock to K-pop and simp over Korean actors and stuff, it feels like such an escape from reality. And you know, I'm not in the business of selling like a false dream or anything like that. Having girls believe that everyone over there is this perfect, sweet prince gentleman. Cause like I said, if you see my videos over the years, you know that is not the case. But I understand the appeal. I totally understand the escape, the need for the Delulu. Most of the people who watch my videos are girls, understandably, given the content of my channel. But for the guys that are watching, or if there's a guy who stumbles upon this video, if you wanna attract more baddies, more girls, you just gotta be nice. You just gotta be respectful. But there's so many people like, oh man, girls always turn away the nice guys. No, but if you expect to get a girl just because you're nice, then you're not actually nice. You're doing the bare minimum. Naturally, there has to be some sort of level of attraction. Like that's just how the world works. If you're a guy, you're not gonna go after a conventionally unattractive girl just because she's nice. Sure, it happens, but guys don't seem to get judged as much as women do for going after like a hot guy. This video is completely random. I Like I said, I, I just felt like rambling a little bit. So if you've humored me this long, I appreciate you. It's weird, I, like Delulu is dangerous, but I feel like Delulu can be good too because in a way, I feel like it makes girls everywhere and women everywhere raise their standards of expectation of how they wanna be treated and how they expect to be treated. That's what everybody, man or woman should do. Don't accept the minimum, the bare minimum, don't settle. Go after exactly what you want, exactly who you want. And I feel like because we've become so accustomed in the world of K-pop and all this stuff, it's like these really pretty, talented, nice, sweet gentlemen boys who do well for themselves and they're traveled. That's a good thing to aspire for in a partner in real life. Don't settle for the dude who has no goals, no aspirations in life and treats you like shit. Me and Marika was talking about this the other day, but like ever since BTS came into her life, like she said, her standards and expectations in real life for men have gone up as well and as they should. And that just goes into the whole like manosphere rabbit hole of, you know, they be like, oh, all women want a rich guy and all women want the same thing. All women, no, no woman likes me. Well, work on yourself. Like you need to look within first and figure out why. Hmm, maybe I'm the problem. There's been like this long red pilled feminist video I've been dying to make, but that I would literally be filming for hours. <laughs> so I've been putting it off. And I feel like whenever I talk about gender in any way, little peaks of it just burst out. It just seeps out of my brain like ISIS talk about it. <laughs> I feel like at the end of the day, all women want the same thing. They want someone who they're attracted to, who's nice to them, respects them, treats them well, and they can grow together. That don't seem like that's a whole lot to me. And I feel like a lot of young ladies these days, especially dating sucks. Like dating is just tumultuous. You're in the trenches. It's just dodging minefield. It's like, a, it's literally a war. War, terrible war. So I feel like when we see these perfect guys, you're just like, oh, you, I love you. You're my, you're my boyfriend and you don't even know it yet. I spend a lot of time on Instagram, by the way. And I like to respond to troll comments, not really on my posts, like people are pretty, chill and tame and nice to me but like on other posts because it'll be a woman minding her business like there was a girl who um turning 25 she was like guys i'm screwed i still don't know what a w9 is i don't know like i'm not prepared to be an adult and then the very first comment i see is some old guy talking about well if your body count is high which it most likely is you won't find a quality partner to babysit you what the only men worried about a woman's body count are men who are insecure because they don't want to be compared to other men who are probably better and bigger. But that is like the space we see these days from the opposite gender. <laughs> so when we see like these, these saranghees and like these cheerful, cute, sweet, playful, romantic, talented, pretty boys, naturally we flock. Like that's just what we want. And I don't speak for all women. Like, please correct me in the comments if, where I'm wrong because I know I'm not 100% right. It's just my opinion. There may be more thoughts to come later, but uh, that's it for now. If you've been here through this ramble, you are special. <laughs> you are a real one. Thank you so much for watching. If you did, remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Annyeong.